Hello and good morning. Thank you so much for tuning in. You are tuned in to The Encourager. And <clears throat> uh, thank you so much for tuning in. We are going to go ahead and get started with our angel numbers. And welcome back subscribers. Thank you so much. Uh, new listeners, welcome in and returning listeners. Thank you so much. We are, uh, as I stated, going to go ahead and get started with our angel numbers. And <clears throat> uh, to save us a little time, I did go ahead and shuffle and, and lay out the cards and actually all of that before pressing record. So we have definitely synchronicities today, probably <clears throat> the, the tightest, I will say the tightest synchronicity of angel numbers that we've had so far. So again, I hope you're doing well today. Uh, the work, the fer fertility and <clears throat> throat chakra attacks. Fertility <laughs> keeps coming up. It's coming up uh, recently uh, over the last couple of days. Uh, Apis, A-P-I-S, has been brought to mind. We've had uh, Hansu, Hansu, uh, that Egyptian oracle card. Uh, I think was a part of our reading yesterday, okay, and that deals with a couple of things, a lot of things, but it also deals with fertility amongst other things, okay, <clears throat> and that's specifically fertility of livestock, fertility of um, uh, work and that sort of thing, and APIS, A-P-I-S, is fertility as well, but that's about fertility um, in regards to uh, life and death, okay? And so that's about giving life and that sort of thing uh, to one aspect of, of existence, let's say. And then Hansu focuses on a different aspect of fertility. And then there's another one, Satet, that focuses on another part of fertility. <clears throat> and Fertet... Uh, Satet, sorry, not Fertet, Satet, uh, is a part of our angel number readings today, okay, is the angel number, or, or Egyptian oracle card that came out for our angel number readings today. So, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. <clears throat> so, we have one, two, three, four, of course, that's order, it's good luck, There's, it's, it's, it's not luck, but if that's the word they want to use, spirit guides, progress, justice, structures, systems, processes, conditioning, um, and rules. Uh, I want to say something. <coughs> Throat chakra. I want to say something um, that I heard yesterday and that I want us to know, for those of us who are tuned into this channel, whether you are karmic or you are high vibrational at this time, I want to say something that I heard yesterday. Or say something about what I heard yesterday. And uh, enjoying my turmeric ginger tea. <laughs> mm. By the way, I eat pizza and stuff too. I, it's not like I only eat grass. <clears throat> um, but I, um, in fact, I've been wanting a pizza recently. I've restrained myself. <laughs> uh, typically, again, typically... Um, it's a pizza a month. I order one pizza every month. I haven't ordered one this month, so typically it's a pizza every month. <laughs> um, so anyway, must be getting to be that time. And it's Friday, so happy Friday, everyone. Um, so yes, so uh, and Fridays are for pizza, right? So um, anyway, I heard yesterday, I heard someone say, and it was a reader, I heard them say, Something in the, something along the lines of, and this is the first time I've ever heard them, never came across the channel, never anything, so it was brought to me, okay? Um, and I posted this on their channel. They said, talking about relationships and reproduction and fertility, they said, and it, well, they were, they were condoning. Okay, they were condoning transvestite pregnancies and things, and explaining how a man who was once a woman, or or a woman who was who's now a man, can still get pregnant, and 
there is no way a man, woman can be a man, first of all. So that whole thing is an oxymoron, jumbo shrimp. Like, uh, the very statement of a man who was once a woman, like the very statement of a woman who was once a man, like you, you can't do that. No matter what you change, you can't do that. Okay? So do we understand that, yes, even though it was the evil watchers and the minions that had fallen with Satan and all of that, we understand that they came to earth and then uh, they made it with others and then these uh, Azazel spirit took over. Azazel was an actual being that actually ruled and is responsible for uh, the start of the corruption that became Sodom and Gomorrah and so on and so forth, okay? And so we can't possibly believe in the creator that I speak about on this channel and we're condoning that bullshit, okay? So I want you to know where I stand on this if you are a part of this channel. If you want to know where I stand on this, It is an absolute disgrace and abomination to divine source for a man, a male, to try and attempt to become a woman or a woman to try and attempt to become a man. That is an absolute abomination. Okay? You can have your own opinion and think whatever you like, but you are absolutely wrong. Guaranteed. Okay? All right? Most High has apologized for things because he thought something was going to turn out right. He's apologized to creation. But that shit, he ain't make no mistake. He made a penis and a vagina. And if you're born with whatever you're born with in whatever lifetime, that's the shit you need to keep. 707 on the timer, okay? So, I'm not condoning any of that shit. You want to get married to whoever you want to get married to? Sure get married to whoever you want to get married to if you're talking about bringing children bringing a human seed into this life okay so let's see what our one two three says you are on the right track someone from the other side has your back and encourages you to try your best you will succeed Observe your surroundings and communicate clearly. Be sure that everything will uh, be sure that everything will fall. Uh, it says two pieces. And again, um, <laughs> uh, that's an interesting statement at the end. Three, three, three. Again, we got it yesterday. Support. OK. Growth, creativity, joy, community vision and talents seeing the angel th number 333 is a sign that it's time to focus inward and work on your skills discover your talents and use your imagination unleash your inner artist doing so will boost your self-esteem and sense of competence it does wonders for your sense of purpose and contributes to your community okay and so sometimes I just sit down and I'll draw or doodle or whatever uh, in this scrapbook that I have. And I'll just write in it, right? And whatever. Um, in fact, and I don't have many. I don't have many pictures of it, actually. Uh, but I do have some. I do have some. And so... Uh, <laughs> I didn't plan on this. Let's take a look. So, yep, this is me. Just whatever. Just. 
know what that was. <laughs> I don't know if that was something. I don't know. Strange weeping willow tree. Mm -hmm. I like the texture of the tree. I like the way I made that though. That looks pretty neat. It took forever, <laughs> but I like the way that looks. A swan of some sort. Oh, third eye. See that up there? Another attempt at the eye. That was going to be an image or something. A woman with braids, maybe? There's a braid right there. <laughs> I know who that is. And so, yeah, and so I even write in it too, as you can see. I write in a lot of <laughs> on a lot of things, in a lot of things. Some mountains there that I started with some trees. And... So here's something getting ready to hit the earth. See, it started way up there. Here it comes, a big fireball getting ready. <laughs> right? Didn't hit us though. We're the healthy tree right there. You see, we're the only one, right? <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Yep. So, uh, yeah, artistic abilities, whatever that happens to be, uh, whatever that means for you, it could mean a number of things. Again, your base chakras, your lower chakras, the lower main chakras are responsible for that or help with that tremendously. And then we have 444. Four, four. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 3, 3, and 444. Four, four. Protection. Change. Rebellion, nothing wrong with a little rebellion. He's a rebel and he'll never ever be, never ever does what he should, just because he doesn't do what everybody else does. That's no reason why he can't share my love. He's always good to me, always treat me tenderly. He's not a rebel, no, no, no. He's not a rebel, no, 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 to me. <laughs> um, protection, that's an old song, 60s song, I think. Change, rebellion, guidance, justice, truth, character, and love. Okay. Get ready for good things you've been, for the good things you've been hoping for. You were born for a higher calling. Put your energy into going forward. Your uh, going forward, your ambitions and the universe will align itself to provide you with the right people, circumstances, and resources to make things happen. Okay. Next, um, we are going to move on to our uh, Egyptian oracle card. Oh no, I'm sorry, our harmony cards. Okay, so we have the King of Swords. Okay, and so we know in the traditional King of Swords that they are holding a sword in their right hand and that sword is leaning to the left. So that sword in the right hand is is representing excuse me, <laughs> representing the mind, right, and the strong hand. It's also representing um, leaning to the left, it's representing the left side of the mind, so it's representing balance in that regard. It's also stating, with with it being in the upright and not pointed down position, it's representing readiness, uprightness, uh, you're in the right energy flow, it's not negative. And so, the King of Swords is, is sitting, <laughs> but ready, paying attention, okay, and looking for any any um, energy coming towards them and what that energy is coming with. That's why the sword is in the hand. The sword is like, okay, I see you. I'm thinking clearly, right? Thinking with my left side of the brain, you know, the left, right side of the brain, whole thing, the whole cerebellum and, and uh, cerebrum thing, right? And so balancing. Right. And so next we have the world and the world represents it could represent uh, a number of things. But for me, uh, what the world represents is it represents uh, a new start. 
Okay, the world represents a new cycle, a brand new cycle, a whole new world. That's what it represents. Okay, <clears throat> and we see the world card here. Okay, spotlight posing in a frame, paparazzi take a picture. And then we have Satet. Okay, and again, this 27, fruitfulness. I mentioned earlier about uh, Satet being one of the three in the last 24, 40 hours that Most High deities, that Most High has brought to me, my ancestors have brought to me in regards to fertility specifically. All three of these deities uh, are associated with f fertility. Okay, and that's not just childbearing. Okay, that's financially, that's spiritually. Okay, so that's spiritual growth that could be physical childbearing, uh, that could be uh, business growth, that could be a brand new business for many of us. Many of us, we grow up or we we start off our our quote unquote adult lives doing the things that we believe others say that we're good at, not the things that we want to do, right? Or we might even do the things that we're good at, but really not what our heart desires. So we might be good at sports, but we really want to be an artist. And yeah, you can be, yeah, an athlete is a type of artist, right? But you can be, uh, maybe you want to be a different type of artist, okay? So if you want to be a musician, but you are athletic, and and opportunities just I'm thinking about uh, Tim Tebow, okay, and I'm a Gator. Um, so think about Tim Tebow and the interesting journey that his life took. So you couldn't be more a bigger college football player than Tim Tebow, okay? Arguably the the greatest collegiate player, right? Um, and certainly Herschel Walker's up there, right? You have some, but he certainly is up there with those based on his uh, years of accomplishments and what he was able to do at the University of Florida, right? But then, okay, and you have others too, but no one, at least in recent sports collegiate history, has accomplished what he accomplished and then did very little on the pro level, but it provided a way for him to do what it is that he's doing today for the Tim Tebow Foundation and all these sorts of things that he's doing, okay? Do I personally think he deserved more opportunity? Yeah, but that's because I'm biased, okay? That's because of that, right? So, um, so yeah, right? So let's take a look at ourselves today and see where the areas that perhaps the enemy has stolen that have not been fertile, okay? The areas in our lives that we have not tended to, okay? So what happens when you do not tend to the garden? There is a, there is a local neighborhood garden uh, here uh, at one of the parks, and um, that neighborhood garden, they, uh, you could, you could, you know, you could rent the space, you know, if it's available, right? And, um, and they have different plant bins or whatever and that sort of thing. But you can rent space. And some of those, play, some of those sections are very well taken care of. And some of them are not. Okay? And so those that are very well taken care of, oftentimes I see the same people. I don't go by the... Uh, by that place every day, but often when I do, if I go in the early part or mid part of the morning, I see the same people out there attending the gardens that look really, really nice. So that's not a coincidence. Okay. Why does my garden look so gorgeous today? My garden looks gorgeous and handsome today because I tend to the garden every day. That being self. Okay. Okay. So how's your garden looking? We're in the summertime. It should be vibrant, should be colorful. How's your garden looking right now? Okay. Thank you so much for tuning in. I don't think I said my name at the beginning. My name is Nehru. This is The Encourager. Uh, the channel was created to help us all become our highest, purest, truest forms possible. And forms meaning energies, meaning uh, human forms that we are in right now currently, um, so long as 
our soul remains in this flesh. Okay. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. If you would like to get in touch with me, all of that information will be in the information section of the video. Email address is theencourager333 at gmail. You can also find me on LinkedIn, Instagram, uh, X, which uh, formerly Twitter, Facebook. All right. So thank you so much as always for tuning in. And again, be encouraged.